Hey everybody, I'm Juhan Plon, and today I'm going to try to tackle a pretty big painting. I'm going to stick this painting here in this corner in our basement. I want this place to be kind of a space other than the workshop that I can do less messy things like painting or some other crafts um, just to have a good filming spot and make it look a little bit nicer. Now, I haven't done a whole lot of painting, so I don't really know what I'm doing. So that means I probably won't have a lot to say. But I'm excited to just sit down here, listen to podcasts, listen to music, and just chill and paint. I'm using some pretty cheap paints as well. And I'm going to be painting on this piece of some kind of cardboard material. It's pretty big. And I'll just stick that on the wall. I printed out um, an image that I liked just off the internet. And it doesn't have to be perfect. That's not the goal. It's just to get a little bit better at painting by the end of this and have something cool to stick on the wall. So like I said, I'm going to be painting on this cardboard thing, but it's too big for any easel that we have. So I think I'm just going to duct tape it to the wall and hope it stays up. One thing I should mention is how I drew everything on. I first drew some center lines, a uh, vertical and a horizontal, and then from that I tackled some easy parts like her shoulders, her chin, and her neck. And then I used proportions, so like this measurement here, from this light part to the center line, I take that, and then it's about as big as her eye, the width of her nose, and her lips. And I just did that throughout the whole piece, and I redid a lot, and redrew it like three or four times until I got it roughly correct. Alright, so now is a good time to stop and tell you what's going on. The first thing is the green shirt that I painted on her. My plan was to do a really, really dark green, and just to give it some color. I assume, because I'm using these not-so-great paints, um, I mixed up a really dark green, but it dried really light. So, I scrapped that, but, so they don't co cover very well, and they're not super opaque. But I've kind of taken that as a challenge to continue with them and see if I can do the whole painting with that. So I've gotten from about here down 
to my liking. I'm, I've done the neck and the body like three or four times, just trying to get it right. So I've kind of maybe developed kind of a, a sloppy technique. So everything's not blended correctly, but I kind of like it. So I'm going to try to continue that throughout the face. Another thing I'm doing is I'm using this copper paint. It's metallic, so it's got some, some shimmer to it. And I'm mixing that half and half with the brown, just to give it some, like, some extra texture, hopefully. A weird thing I found out about this paint is with a little bit of water, like on your finger, you can um, soften the paint and it washes away, like it's water washable or whatever. Um, and that can be a, like a bad thing and a good thing. Um, it can be bad when you have a dark color underneath and you want to put a light color on top, um, the, the light color will soften the dark color and that will show through too. So you have to do multiple coats on some parts. But a problem I was having with the neck is um, I would lay in my colors and then when they're all wet just wash them all or like blend them all together. But that ended up like mushing all the colors together into this ugly gray. So. I ended up like pretty much leaving a light, a medium, and a dark, and then letting them dry, and then having some water on my finger, and blending those together, because that kept the colors separate, but still, you, but you could still blend them enough that it looked right.
I'm just so happy with how it came out. I think I got a little bit lucky with the proportions of the face and the shapes and everything. But I, so I was a little bit nervous before I put the eye in that it wouldn't look right because the eye is just a big part of this this piece. So this picture. So I'm happy to have it look correct. Um, I, I think I ended up with a, a completely different mindset at the end of this video. Like rather than having the like my goal was to work with these paints and have something to stick on the wall, but I think now it's to get better at painting and to make better videos of me painting. So definitely stay tuned for more videos of painting because I really like it. I'm actually really happy I stayed with working with these paints because I think a lot of good came out of that. Like some good textures and um, like a, a cool technique that came out of it. I did spray fix this to hopefully keep it safe until I get like a, a clear coat or a varnish on it. I'm just not sure what to do for that yet. So, but I think a couple other projects have come out of this. Like, I want to make a big easel now. I'm picturing like a scrap wood easel and I definitely need a frame that I'll make a video about. So, and I want to make um, more videos of me painting and get better at making those videos. So that's really exciting. Definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on those videos that I just talked about. That helps me out, and thanks a lot for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.